be live here at Susan Television. Those are the pictures of a man who graced our scenes, our screens, the newspapers for half a century or more. With the same pinstripe suit he wore then, he still wears today. He'll wear it tomorrow when he turns 100 years old. Charles Mogane Jonjo, more popularly known as Sir Charles, the Duke of Cabetashire. I tell you, man, 100 years old, what an achievement. What a milestone. And tweets are coming in thick and fast. Let's just read a couple of them in here. Uh, Shem Onginga, you say? Onginga, you say? Congratulations to Mr. Charles Jonjo for 100 years. Absolutely. That's across the board. Congratulations. More tweets coming in so thick and so fast. Alan Felice, you say? Congratulations on how officially being the most amazing person of the century. I mean, how more amazing can you get than having lived through the entire thing? <laughs> what thing? Happy birthday, Sir Charles Njonjo. More tweets, thick and fast. Sheila Bahati, you say, happy birthday to Sir Charles Njonjo. 100 years in perfect condition is no joke. Indeed, it is not by works, lest any man boast, but by God's grace. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9. May perfect health never depart him. Nice. More congratulatory message coming in thick and fast. I am George Washira, says Duke of Cabetashire, Charles Njonjo, 100 years old. What an honor to have lived such a long life. No doubt, no doubt. Okay, let's get to one more. Uh, Wanjeri Joram K, you say, wow, hitting a century is not a joke. I wish he can share with us his secrets. Congratulations, Charles and Georgia. Well, Super Senator Sakaja says he knows some of the secrets of Sir Charles, right? <laughs> Other than two, two beers a day. Two beers a day. Getting married. I, I won't mention that again. <laughs> but <laughs> he's lived a full life. I know, man. 100. Incredible. He was 66 when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> there is hope. What? He gives me hope. Do you, what, do you, what do you remember about him other than file footage? Do you remember anything? And his, and his pinstripe suit. I've, I've met him once. Yeah, you have, huh? Yeah, I've met him once. In, in fact, I met him with my boss. Um, I won't say which setting it was. Yeah. But he was very inquisitive. And he'd ask, you where Sakaja? And he'd remember, I think he remembered my dad from somewhere. Mm. And he gave me stories. But he was very, he, he, he didn't suffer fools. He doesn't suffer fools. No. He doesn't suffer no. fools. And uh, he, will, he will let you know that your point is not uh, hitting it right yeah um i last then saw him uh, last year at uh, tomboya's uh, memorial yes and it was so nice to see him you know as 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 old as he is getting up there and speaking fondly about tom who for me has always been my political role model yeah. and and recounting their days i think i think it is just satisfying to see him now he's going to look for gorillas in uganda look at that you know ticking off the bucket list yeah so ticking I, you I, off. And, and, and 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 let me tell you for because uh, i've seen people on twitter some saying negative things positive things no one's life is perfect and there is no wrong path everyone's journey is what god has ordained it to be and so all of us make mistakes he's made his mistakes he's done it right um he was in most good books at some point mm -hmm. another point i, I went to some place in Wangige where the road is terrible and they say when he fell out with Moe, Moe came and plucked it out. <laughs> <laughs> with a, yeah, this was part of Kapete or Kikuri. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yes. it, it was this constitution. They just plucked Lord. off the road. But this is a man who's, who's seen it all. I think for me, I really ask whoever can talk to Sir Charles. We want a book written by him himself yeah. or dictated by him himself. Yeah. Uh, I know there are many things he can't talk about. Yes. But he needs to tell us something. And, you know, in a, as, we, as we remember 100 years and we hope he has many, many more years to go, it reminds me of the quote by, uh, you know, one of, I think it's Jomo Kenyatta even, mm. that our fathers were heroes of the past. It's up to us now to be architects of the future. And that's what I tell young people. History is not something that will happen once years ago. It's now we make history today and let us make history for this country. So at one day, people will remember Jeff Koinange. People will remember Sakaja, will they remember all of us yeah. in our different spheres, not just as leaders, Correct. not just as people on TV, yeah. in your market, Uko in uh, Bunyore. Yeah. Make a change. Be known, be remembered for something, and be good. 
at, at what you do. You know, speaking of books, there's a Ugandan who's written an unauthorized biography of yeah. Sir Charles. Yeah. He's about to release it. His name is Christopher Kikomeko. It's unauthorized. Un unauthorized, because uh, Sir Charles didn't give his permission. But, you know, Sir Charles went to school in Uganda, uh, apparently. He spent yeah. his time because he was the son of a chief. Yeah. And the prince's kids, you know, they had a kingdom. Yes. Remember Bunyore? Yes. Oh, well, the they Bagan had a kingdom. Uganda kingdom. Buganda. Yeah. So the book is entitled John Joe's Time. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it's coming out in the next few weeks. Interesting. Written by a Ugandan. That's interesting. And he sent me excerpts and incredible. Do you know Kenyans forget that Sir Charles was um, the person who had to undo a lot of colonial laws yeah. in the 60s. In, the, in 1967, um, he had to do away with, um, you know, uh, the old uh, colonial passes. Um, yes. He's the one who desegregated our courts because there used to be courts for whites, courtroom, and for blacks. He changed all that. Mm. And these are people who are working on a new, they had a blank check. Yeah. So we, we might pass harsh judgment sometimes on the on, on the Kenya Tawan and uh, Sir Charles and all those people. But imagine they had no script. It was a blank check and they had to do what they had to do. It was a blank script. And tough it task. must be remembered. Tough it, was, task. it was tough. You know, for us, we have, uh, you know, we can refer to even Kibaki and yeah. refer to the, 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 the 70s and yes. 80s and all that. Yes. What are they referring to? Nothing. Chiefs. Chiefs. And if it's not chiefs, it's the Queen of England. And all over the continent, it is your peers. Tomboy in his 20s, traversing the world, staying at the Piccadilly in London. Good Lord. You know, hanging out with JFK yeah. and Martin Luther King. Yeah. Who do they have to look up to? And so Malcolm young X. people today. You know, and, and for me, I have a mentorship program of young people. I tell them, you guys are lucky. Me, there was no leader beyond my church setting. And I, and I thank God for my church leaders yeah. who mentored me. Who could mentor me? But today... You can you can go online and, and, and send a DM to your senator or to your governor, and if they pick it up, you can meet them. You you, you can you, you you can talk to Manu Chandaria. Yeah. You know you can talk to Jeff Koinange, and we're connected. Let's make use of that as a generation. Here's another man who knew uh, Sir Charles yeah. very well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Oh. The, you know the, the world is such a small place. Patrick, oh. superstar and Giroud. Oh my goodness. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Karibu bro. Sana. Yeah, that guy was, he refused to grow old. I know. He refuses to grow old. Good to see you. Thank you. With the secret of youth, Patrick. That's oh. what you have. Karibu Sana, bro. Thank you. Karibu. Okay, how old are you? Honestly. 65. Oh, man. Sit, sit. Over there. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm you're, hoping. You're 65. I'm hoping. I'm going to get the other 35 to get into close. But look how he looks at 65. He looks younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, you're 65. Yeah, bro. Wow. And this man who's turning 100 tomorrow? I tell you, an incredible guy. A guy whom I know. I mean, let me call him that name because he's, we are really supposed to re respect him as a muse. Yes. Mm. Yule Mze Wakazi. Mm. He was the one who was instrumental in getting the Safari Rally mm. into the World Championship in 1978. When the World Championship got in, he was the one who became the patron of the Automobile Association of Kenya. Yes. Mm. AA of Kenya yes. was affiliated to FIA. They were the only people who were issuing licenses for rallying, motoring, and canet, FIA canet for travel. Mm. And Honorable Njonjo, when he was the AG, with his good connection and with the Ford motor, that's why Ford, they were very strong in here. Mm. He managed to bring all that team, and he was at every safari rally draw. He used to come to every safari rally draw that I can remember. In that about. pinstripe suit? Yes. Same, same, same way. I was trying, actually today, I was trying to get my, my photographs, which I had with him yes. <laughs> and uh, President Moy oh. and then uh, Barat Badwaj, the, the, the chairman, yes. the one who was then there. Yeah, yeah, they, I think oh, they're there. Know. There's some of them there. Look, oh, look, look. The safari there. Rally. Yeah. Yes, yes. There you go. Yes, yes, there, there we go. I was trying to get in all of those uh, oh, photographs. My goodness. And, and also of one, one, one super senator, sitting next to me at the school <laughs> when his father brought me at the Jamuri to go and pick to go and bring the car there to speak. Sakaja's father. Sakaja's father. He was the greatest guy you've ever seen. <laughs> From Firestone. He used to work for Firestone when it was America, not Kenya. Yes. Not Firestone Kenya. Namze alikuwa ananipatia tairitano. Sponsorship, Jeff. Tano. Tano. Moja spare. Moja spare. For the rally. 
because then that was the time that it was so good you know to try to bring the african yes. running the african drivers so this stuff of, of helping other people or uplifting uh, people well, it didn't begin to actually his mentor is yeah. not the church it is his father yes. the father the old man was such a, a a great guy he was a nice disciplinarian you know even when you retired to kitale i yeah. went to visit him yeah. back in kitale yeah he's and around and he's watching oh, oh, <laughs> he's oh, he's oh, okay. Okay. you must meet him tomorrow <laughs> and also yes also yeah. i tell you honorable jonjo he was the first man he was the one who introduced duty free cars mm. to come into the safari rally and i was the first beneficiary of a duty free car imported out of kenya and 30 tires and one engine and one gearbox for the safari rally which wow. was given to me by honorable doto who is the speaker for machakos uh, for kitui county mm. Mm. he's the one who was in charge of the exemptions at the treasury okay. at the national treasury yes. then yes. but it, it was is so instrumental because as a patron of the aa he asked for the Ministry of uh, Sport, which was then, if I remember, Eliakim Masale, Good Lord. Who, oh. who took over the whole deal. Then it was taken to Parliament, and the Parliament issued legal notice number 81 and 82, which was exempting the rally car and bringing in the, the, the engines and the tires and the spares which were necessary. Duty free. To be, be done. Duty free. Oh. And then there's one more guy, Mike Doughty. Mike Doughty. Who won the safari four times. He won the safari four times with Sheka Meta. Sheka Meta. He and was Sheka Meta's uh, <laughs> co-driver. Uh, co-driver. Co-driver. And then Mike went on to become the general manager for Safari Rally for 10 years. Is he still alive? Who Mike is still alive. Oh, okay, good. He was celebrating last week. Okay. Last week he was, there was a big bash from <laughs> Sylvia King, yeah. Tim Davis, yeah. and Mike, Mike Dowd, and Mike still strong and smoking. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and he, Mike doesn't so, change. Shikaja, do you remember watching this man? <laughs> of course. You do remember? I, <laughs> let me tell you, every prize given day. <laughs> And, and now I'm connecting. I think it's my dad who used to make sure he comes to a school. Yes. He come and do scramble. A spin. Yeah, scramble. yeah, yeah, spin, yes. He like a can. Oh, but, yeah. but Jeff, Jeff, okay. Jeff, huh? the okay. safari which is back now. Yes. Let, let me tell is you. Is it officially back? It's officially back. It's back. Let me tell you. The person, the guy who started all that is this super senator of ours. <laughs> He's the one this. who this started, he started the whole oh. of that. He called me to Serena Hotel. Yeah. And we had lunch there. He bought me lunch. We went with Maluki, with Maluki. whom they were classmates. Maluki. They were classmates at the yes, university. Yes, uh, yes. You know, so when the other day, the guys started saying, oh, this guy never is not educated. And I said, come on, stop <laughs> this politics. You know, this politics is here. But you're no politician. Yes. They want to be heard and seen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> at the same time. But listen, he also drives. Yeah. He also drives. Yeah, 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 Remember yeah, you yeah. did that rally the other yeah, day? Yes. Yeah, yeah, right? I drive. Yeah, super. <laughs> I mean, it's not just drive, drive, but you, you drive. You, you, you know, Jeff, yes. I've never spoken about what I did for bringing back the Safari Rally. Because not everything is for publicity. But we sat down with these guys, we did a roadmap. And the president, President Uri Kenyatta, is a huge supporter. He's played a big role Wait. in helping us get it back. And it, it's, it's taken us some time. Yeah. But look at what we have now. That, it's that, coming that, back. It was 2013. Oh, it was 2013 when we started. When the we just got that. in. When we started all of that six, thing, seven years. Yeah. you know, uh, and incredible, you know, such a such a great thing. And it's going to be the old style, the one we yeah. remember. Yeah, you, know, yes. you know, you know, just growing up in Nairobi, Safari Rally was something else. It used to happen around Easter. Easter. And in in in, in the, the estates, we'd make these uh, rally cars <laughs> using cigarette packets and tins and the tires. Yes. And when we hear Patrick Njiru, we are there. You know, we're fighting who's going to be Patrick Njiru. You know, it's so nostalgic for us. Yes. And we'd be flagged oh, off, my. I think, at the KICC or somewhere, yes. and we'd fight to go and see it. And so my dad used to take me to a lot of the races as well. Oh. And the motocross, because he, he used to give them tires. In fact, sometimes I ask him, because everyone I meet, says, oh, your dad gave me free tires. Were well, you um, fired? Because you gave everyone tires. <laughs> How many did you sell? <laughs> no, 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 he no, kept no, giving away no, tires. Was, was, was very generous. Really, was so He's the good. kindest man I know, oh. my dad. Yeah. How old is man. he? He's exactly 40 years older than me, so he turns 75. Not bad. It's 10 uh, years. 10 years, 10 yeah. Years old. Years old. Um, you were saying, Sir Charles, also the Himalayan rally. What was that? What was now, the deal? The, when I went in, when he, he, he was just about to leave from the AG's mm. office, mm. he was in the AA and we were struggling. We didn't have money. We didn't have anywhere to go. Our, our usual standard car, home going car, was our rally car. Oh, mm. what we used to do, we just used to have the road cage yeah. and bolt it around and say, This is a rally car oh, wow. and change the exhaust pipe. 
Then you used it up on the on the normal day yes. to daylight. Yes. I, I, I remember giving uh, P Peter Kenneth, Cyrus Jirongo, mm -hmm. and uh, Rafael Tuju. You know, we were all living in Umoja. Eh? Mm. We were in the Eastland. Mm. In the K179s there, on the system there. But now it's streets and everything. You know, bachelors. <laughs> <laughs> in the same curve, which we used. So what happened was that then, oh, in 1982, I was invited by the Himalayan rally to go to do the... I didn't have money. And Honorable John Joe called Charles Mukora mm -hmm. at Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. And he said, give sponsorship to Patrick. To this young man. To this young man. I went to Kikuyu. He had an office at Kikuyu at Kikuyu, Pale Karibu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kikuyu mm. town. So we went there, he said, he called, the, the people were there in the queue, he called in and he said, come in, Patrick. So when I went in there, he said, look, this is what you want to do. I want to thank him as one of the pillars of the people mm. who have really supported me in my way of coming up. But like he told you about the mindset, wow. the mindset. He was such a strong guy, but we took it up. But we had discipline. Yeah. Because without yeah. discipline, Jeff, you know, yeah. and w whether you are talented and you are not hard working, mm. hard working will overcome talent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. So it, it was so important that we were really committed and we were working so hard. And, you know, with a team of so many other people, yes, sure. with a team, a lot of team. People just only come to hear about Sakanjo. When you hear Super Senator here, <laughs> if he tells you the, yeah. the people behind him, uh, the team, there's a team. He, he yeah. there's a team. whole party. He can tell you the thousands and thousands of people. And you know, some come in the good way and another. Sure, way. absolutely. Yeah. In my own team, I had 200 mechanics. Whoa. 200, 200. In the team, particularly 1990, to win the Group N championship of the world, the first time in Kenya. 200 people behind all of you. And don't forget the teammates were Mark Wallen, Possum Bauer, some of the first dressed drivers in the whole world. And wow. we were all in the same team. With them, but when it came to the mud, yeah. there's no speed, it's the scale. Scale because that rally was wet 1990. And I remember when, when, when we completed, I, I, I remember, frankly, there are some friends of Honor and Bujundu, I mean, I don't who <laughs> took me to get a trophy from him. I, that's the that's <laughs> <just funny. laughs> wow. he is such an incredible. Yeah. Really, yeah. as, he, as he was saying, forget right. about what people say. Yes. Yeah. But there are so many people who have done so many yes. good things for yes. us. Yes. You know, so we forget. We, we forget, forget very easily. We, By the way, when you were winning that rally in 1990? Yes. Sakaja was four. Five. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> Jeff. imagine, Jeff. Keep reducing we have had people who are starting Kenya industry estate. The industry, when Kenya wanted to industrialize. Yes. And you know my first industry, Jeff? I started the first thing was to make rulers for schools. The rulers, the rulers, the, the rulers, yeah, yeah. You know, those. Every those year those they're the required. The primary, yeah. Now, the, that, and that, now that, we're importing from China. That was headed by <laughs> Charles Bindio. You if you remember, <laughs> Charles Sakaja, Bindio. There's the a question here for you. Uh, question, question. Sakaja, yeah. Real quick, before we wind up, uh -huh. and this person has refused or oh, says, please don't mention my name. Uh, okay. Says, Super Senator. How will you address hopelessness amongst the youth? How do you inspire a generation who try to envision a future and they see nothing but people who steal billions and seemingly get away with it? You know, you know hope is, is the most important ingredient for any nation. Francis Bacon said, hope is a good breakfast but a bad supper. Hmm. That you can wake up with hope, but if you have to go back to sleep with it, you, you become frustrated. I think you guys need to help us because the stories we exalt, the stories that make the headlines, yeah. the stories on the news is about people who've stolen money, it's about corrupt people, it's about heroes who are thugs before, but you don't talk about Patrick Njiru, you don't talk about the positive stories. Even within uh, politics, there are many young guys doing a good job, but we focus on the negative. Yeah. Let's be a bit positive also as, 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 the, as the media. I think someone is asking about Mudur. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, to add up to that, what he has said, yes. to add to what he has said, yesterday the President of the Republic was with Boris Johnson, yeah. signing 170 billion. Imagine. And it was at the back page. Imagine. <laughs> and then you come on the front page, and when you read all the, yes. it's about tea. Yes. The tea, the amount of money, the tea that we are going to use, the yes. amount of people yes. you are going to come and employ and put up all of those things, then you start wondering, wh what's our thinking, you know? Back page. Back, that's the back page. You don't even know, to, you ask the people, the people Imagine will not come and tell you. 
and like he said i don't want to diverge into that as sure, politics sure. but like he said <laughs> look the whole of europe is trying to get closer yeah. to business yeah. business lines yeah. they're trying to gain business line what the former prime minister and the president have done is to try to get the people of kenya to work hard and that is the point actually you yep. should insist on that yep. the people should get back to working yep. because working hard jeff <clears throat> Today, we have 5 million driving licenses issued. Mm, These million. are people driving. 5 million. You can see what percentage of Th that. This guy called William Benson saying, Patrick Jury, 1994, I entered your rally car at Nairobi Showground. I remember the experience to date. Great man. <laughs> and then Bob Drani in Uganda says, don't forget Ian Duncan. Ian no, Duncan. No, no, no. Don't forget yeah. Ian Duncan. Hold on. Hold on. Ian Let's Duncan. Don't forget Ian Duncan. And, and Leonard Mambo. Don't forget Leonard oh, Mambo, the yeah. guy in the voice, the voice, uh, the voice. Kina Daudi Kanja. Oh yeah, you know all of these guys. Yeah, you give the everybody credit, supported. Patrick. My manager Ben except, Obura, except, except himself, except himself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are text messages. Okay, ah. Trader says, Mister Sakaja, please visit Mudurwa Market and close it for it's so <laughs> dirty, and food we eat comes from it. Please visit it and see for yourself, Mudurwa Market. I'll go see. He says he will come, uh, trader. <laughs> Chuna says, good job, Sakaja. As long as you give local contractors the construction of Nairobi roads, you will never get it right. Kangemi is a classic example. Cabro is better and cheaper. Runda Gardens is an example. Get Chinese contractors. <laughs> Je Jeff, Jeff, that is sad, but uh, yeah. <laughs> to some extent true. When I went to Kasarani and we were bringing the contractor, and uh, the people are saying, look, we've seen our people doing this road so many times. The same road, there's a section that is still perfect. No pothole as you come up towards mm. um, Wiki up mm. the hill. And you know what they're telling me? We want the Chinese contractor. So I told them, okay, guys, we must believe in ourselves as Kenyans. But for this specific thing, yeah. we're able to secure and it's the Chinese contractor who is on site, who is working on the road. And that will last. It will last. And the problem is, this is unataka kukata, mm. how many inches, yes. to make a quick buck, yes. to make a man, utapeli. You know, cooking as a dissolves as if it's made of I don't know what salt. Salt. Uh, actually, you know. Jeff, what the senator is saying: mm. look at Osops. Yes. Yeah. The interchange which mm. is being created mm. there. Mm. Look, look, I mean, the traffic which has been there is going to be like the one which used to be on Moranga Road, mm. on Wangari Madai Road. Yes. Finished, clear, kabisa, and kabisa, completed kabisa. completely. At the Osops, you see where how the road yes. is going, oh, it's going to spaghetti. Up, and how yes. it is going, the spaghetti, yes. and nobody is going to get interfered. Now, instead of us la rushing our engineers to go and study this and understand this, because it has never been done. Mm. It's but, the first time that is uh, happening. What we've agreed with Kura? Yes. We've said all these people, especially for Nairobi, I told him we will not allow another contractor who one has done a shoddy job elsewhere or number two his work you know is taking too long as to him said we'll blacklist them and we'll not allow them on site and you'll make Nairobians, and you'll make sure as Nairobians, we will not allow we've and we've agreed with the, in fact engineer, engineer kinoti i must applaud him mm. he responded so swiftly we went with him uh, to the ground you know he left the office he doesn't have to he's not a politician he's a technocrat he'd have sent engineers he said i want to come myself and see that kasarani mwiki road and talk to the contractor myself as the boss of Kura. So I applaud him and I'll tell him, what are we We look at all of those other guys who are doing a bad job. Nairobians deserve better. We pay so much taxes. Thank you. Yeah. Douglas Nagy from Nairobi says, I support the BBI, but I have been disappointed at what I have seen the last two meetings, Kisi and Kakamega. Those were political rallies. My fear is that this is going to create more divisions and we are running away from the big four agenda. Jeff, we spoke about the vision. You won't do the hardware in the big four without unity. And I just want to assure Kenyans, because people are worried about the tone of the politics now and the hype. Let them relax. We politicians will sort that out. Kenya will come out stronger out of this. It's just natural for people to be, you know, anxious about the future ETC. But what we are doing and what we must do together is for the best. It's for the good and, for this country. And for our kids and their kids. And for our kids, yeah. Let's go back to tweets. Mutoro GM says, Senator, we need synergy between the county government and all the sub-counties in Nairobi totally disengaged leadership with internal competition and squabbles sad yeah, i agree mm. i agree one more tweet and then we close up chris sunday 17 please ask sakaja if the county government still plans to implement the car free days or the progress rather in most european countries and even rwanda it has worked so well to reduce pollution improve health healthy living and create temporary play zones for children 
Well, I'm, I'm not sure they're still intending to implement that because the last time they raised that and even to bring hawkers into town, it wasn't well thought out and we, and we you know, stopped it. Um, we want a better plan and we've agreed um, now even with the national government on how to create space for those who are trading, space for pedestrians and to encourage Nairobians people to leave their cars. But you can't do that without providing reliable public transport. Alternative. So alternative yes. Alternative transport. Correct. Tell don't come to town with your car. So how do you want me to come? Do I run or do I get on a bike? If I want to get on a bike, is there a bike lane? Mm -hmm. If I want to walk, is there a path to walk or I'll be knocked down? So he said, let's create the necessary infrastructure for people to be able to leave their cars. I have buddies in New York, very rich guys, who don't own a car. You don't have to own a car in New York. Yes. You have guys in London who have never used their own private cars. Yes. Because public transport is reliable. It's efficient. Those days you're talking about, your new number eight becomes number 42, <laughs> and you ponder the bus, it comes at 10 a.m., and it will take you to Dandora and to Kibira, you know. Nine and six. Nine yes. and six. It's the new route yes. going around Gara, it is, mm. you know. And, and, and that's what we need to get back to. The problem with public transport in Kenya and Nairobi, the only thing public about it is the people and the road. It is completely in the hands of private sector and yeah. that will change it will, must change. will the brt ever come <sighs> okay don't answer that jeff jeff i have it one suggestion come, I, <laughs> I have one suggestion for the senate go on that i want to put to him to put on the bbi go on yes and this is see this let's, is let, let's get let's BBI. get four guys let's get jeff is standing i am standing and he is standing yes mm -hmm. then we have another fourth candidate the fourth candidate now we put in here where the voter is none of the above uh -huh. If none of the above comes, yes. none of the above is more than the, 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 the other choices. The vote, yes. Then that one is not, is, you, you don't go through. Uh, you don't go through. None of the above. None of the above. That's brilliant. That's none of the above. You, put, you, me, and him, yes. we are the three competing. Yes. Now, the people don't see any of these no. guys are there. No. Then somebody comes and he says, you get 1,000. I get a thousand, yeah. uh, no nine hundred. Yeah. He gets seven hundred. Yeah. But then none, none of, the of the above comes yes. with one thousand two hundred. And they win. You know, oh, you kill it. Uh, Our elections will be. The election is nullified will be endless. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It will not be endless. We never finish. <laughs> no, Gentlemen, no, 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 no. take a look at these. These are the latest pictures <laughs> of the centenary, yeah. centenarian we're talking about. This was in Uganda. Yeah. yeah the boy was tracking gorillas. Sir gorillas. Charles was tracking gorillas the other day. With his family wow, and, and wow, daughters wow. and son and yes. sons-in-law and yes. look at them, look at him. That must wow. have been on his bucket list. Yes, yeah. To go and track gorillas, ticked wow. off. Ticked off. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Patrick Jiro, final closing thoughts about this man and a hundred years later. We have to. We have to leave. We have to leave. We have to leave like we will die. Let's not live like we will never die. Then we die like we never lived. Hmm. Sir Charles has lived his life properly. He has done everything that is possible for everybody, for all himself and the people of Kenya. He has done enough for this country. And that is what I would want to tell my brother, my, my younger brother here. Yes. <laughs> my younger brother here, I want to tell him, listen, you have an opportunity, you have a chance, you have a way to make this country, you have a way to go forward and do great things like the way you are doing. Take it only, only. Don't put it in your head. Let it not come to your head. Mm. Be humble like he has always been. He came from a humble background. He was not from the... the, the I know very well mm -hmm. that about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Take that, push it very well, and with that, we are going to implement some of the best things that we are doing, and he knows he has got all our support. And Thank he's you. 30 years younger than you. <laughs> he said he has got all my support. Wow. 30 years younger than you. And uh, 20 if, younger than me. And if he rules <laughs> the next... This, he's going to be president one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Right. This man <laughs> will be president, and he'll make a great leader too. Oh, Honestly, he will. One more, yes. please. Always listen to the elderly. Yeah. Forget, because for me, I was very lucky. I had great friends who were older than me, I mean, somebody like Joseph Kamaru, mm. you know? People of those, the wazes who have wisdom, because yeah. wisdom, you don't get it in any college. No. Get the people who are much elder than you, who are older than you, yeah. listen to them, get them, come to us. Mm. We are there, and we're you there. know, we have sat as down, as and we're we here. have talked, and we have yeah. listened, and we have done. Let's not make the mistakes which the other friends of ours have made. Sure. Yeah. Let's not rush ourselves, yeah. because, you see, like, overspeeding kills. Mm. Even in rallying, over speeding here. Says the speedster himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> keep the speed, keep the, keep the standard speed, you know, right. so that we can be able to Senator, go. Senator, oh. you get the last word. Jeff, after that, I have nothing to add. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you, thank you for the advice. <laughs> and, you see, and he's already listening to the elderly. Thank you for your advice. Yeah. Elders. Yeah. And happy this 100 to Charles Jones. Yeah. Happy yeah. 100. Fantastic. Yes. Superstar Patrick Njiru. Oh, in Japanese, just say something real quick because I love that. Go on. Anthony, konbang arigato gozaimasu. Mina san, iro iro arigato gozaimashita yoku. Ano Charles Jones no yakunen ni omedetou gozaimasu. Wow. Arigato. Arigato. It sounds it sounds like you queen. <laughs> Thank you, Super Senator. Thanks, Thanks a lot, guys, man. Thanks. Always a pleasure, man. God bless you. Next Thanks. time, Thanks. next time get Mutula. I will, you know, I asked, he was in Makueni today. Oh, okay. He was in Makueni and he, he actually tried to come back, yeah. but he was just running late. Yeah. You, he, every time he hears you're on, he wants to come on. Likewise. But thanks for coming on, man. Eh? Thank <laughs> Anytime, you. Anytime, Appreciate it, man. Asante. No, really, very Patrick. Good. God bless Asante. Kenya. God bless Kenya. God I was about Kenya. to say that, yeah. but the senator has said it, God so I don't need Kenya. to say it. <laughs> Only don't forget, every Wednesday, those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. You've seen the keyboard, right? Yeah. JKL. That's what J -K -L. I'm talking about. Right here on Citizen Television. Oh my. What, what oh a discussion my. we had. These oh. two folks. There's Patrick Giro at 65, <laughs> Senator Sakaja at 34, 35, and us in between. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kenya. And like the senator says, God bless Kenya yep. and happy 100th birthday, Sir Charles. What a man. Wow. Great man. What a milestone. Good night. Good luck. God bless Kenya. Good night. <laughs>